Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Apps Portals Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduke, and this is tip number 53, Introduction to Web Forms. A common requirement for a portal is to build a form that allows a user to enter data that either creates a record or edits an existing record in the CDS database. There are two primary ways to do that in Power Apps Portals, Entity Forms and Web Forms. For more on the differences between these technologies, see tip number 36. In this tip, we're going to dive a bit deeper into web forms, which allow you to build complex, multi-page, multi-entity, wizard-style forms for your Power Apps portal. There are several entity types used to set up a web form. These include web form, web form step, and web form metadata. The web form entity contains the settings that apply to the entire form including whether authentication is required, what to do when a user comes back to a form they've already started, what type of progress indicator to show, if any, and the web form step that is the first step of the process. The web form step defines the individual pages in the wizard. You can configure a step to load an entire model-driven form or a tab from a form. You can also use a step to redirect the user to a separate URL, or you can use it to build in conditional logic which allows you to branch to different steps depending on the result of an expression. You can use web form metadata to configure functionality that goes beyond what's possible with a model-driven app, including advanced validation, pre-population, and subgrid configuration. For more details on web form metadata, see tips 37 through 42. Link multiple web form steps together using the next step lookup to create the flow of your web form. Once configured, web forms can be added to a page in a few different ways. You can use the web form liquid tag, or you can use the web form relationship that exists on the web page record. Note that if you use the relationship to the web page, you must select a page template that has been set up to display web forms. If you are using a web template based page template, you can look through the source web template to confirm if the web form liquid tag is included. As a user progresses through the web form, a web form session record keeps track of their progress. In our next few tips, we'll cover some of these topics in greater detail. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Power Apps Portals tip number 53 on the introduction to web forms useful.